Street Outreach and Mobile Outreach are hand in hand. So Street Outreach was first designed and then Mobile Outreach came along. Mobile Outreach is a retired police vehicle and when they are not responding to calls that are related to substance, they are on foot. They're connecting with people, they're connecting to different resources. So when they do come across someone that may need, you know, go to the hospital, then we have an easier way to connect them to that resource because we know them. So I think street outreach is important and valuable because if people don't want to come into a building that they don't know anyone at, they're not going to come in. So they're just going to hang around wherever they've been hanging and probably be stuck in that situation for a while. But, you know, if me or somebody else is out there and we can talk to them and find out what they need and build a relationship and see, okay, this isn't just like a setup. We're really trying to help you and figure out what you need to be successful. Hey guys. Hey, you doing okay? You good? Yeah. They should be serving at Sally's here in like an hour. So to build trust with homies can be very difficult. I mean, a lot of our clients have gone through very traumatic things in their lives. So it's just being consistent and checking in with them, showing your face every day, bringing a bottle of water, bringing a sandwich. I mean, anything really that shows them that you genuinely care. Having mobile outreach in this community is absolutely huge. We run from 9 a.m. to midnight. You know, we take so much stress and burden off of, you know, FPD and FM ambulance on responding to calls that are substance use related. We really take that burden off of them so they can focus on doing their job and the important things that they're doing while we can build a connection and get these people out of their situation so FM ambulance and FPD are no longer receiving calls on them. We have to make sure that we're providing services based on what people tell us that they need because they know what they need. They don't always know what's available and they don't always trust um, that that's what we want to do is help. But through enough conversations and really listening to what people identify as the next step for them, that trust comes, the relationship piece comes, and we know relationships ultimately are what motivate people's behavior. You know, we meet new people every day and a lot of times we are the first person from an actual agency that they're connecting with. There have just been a number of times where we meet somebody and through us outreaching them and building a relationship with them over the course of you know weeks and months, we're able to see a transformation in these people and see them get housed and maybe start a job and really become independent again. I think this program means a lot to people. You know, you could be walking downtown and someone could be having a really hard day and just people walk by all the time and it'd be like if you or I were just not talking to a single person at all and you didn't know where to go, you didn't know anybody. So actually having someone stop you and just say, hey, can I help you? People might not know it in that moment of time, but that's one less question that they have to think about that night because it's just as easy as just a conversation. The circumstances in which people find themselves without a home can happen to anyone at any time. So, you know, instead of just walking by them and kind of, you know, brushing them off or ignoring them, just think about if that was your sister, your mom, your brother sitting there, how would you want other people to look at them? How would you want people to react to them? Um, they're not bad people. They are just at a bad situation right now. I love my homies. Like, they are some of the funniest and most, like, charismatic people you will ever meet. If I can be a little bit more kinder to them, I think that makes all the difference. And I wish, you know, everybody would think that way. Because nobody deserves to be homeless. Nobody deserves to live on the streets with no home. Um, regardless if you have mental health, substance use, any of it, everybody deserves a home. Homelessness is, is completely different than the next person. You know, it's like this intersection of, of social, political, and personal factors that crash at, at, in one place. And how that looks after that crash is very different for everybody.